the Jungle Brothers on the wheels of steel. My sister Harmony right beside me and I KRS one on the mic. Sydney Mills on the keyboards and Dwayne on the engineering. And once again, this style is dedicated to the Heavenly Father. Because you know you're real. Follow the commandments that y'all set forth. Cause man made laws, made man laws. Follow the commandments that y'all set forth. Cause man made laws, made man laws. A lot of times people think it's our parents that created us. They brought us here in the flesh, but God created all things. But somewhere down the line we got away from that. Somewhere we got into hip hop that we could disrespect God and it's all good. We can make rec we can make records like for the right price I do Jesus Christ. We can make records like I slept with Jesus' mother. And think that's somewhere down that's cool and you ain't gonna pay for that. That's what you call blasphemy. Mm. If you if you don't repent. You know where you're going, but God will forgive you. So, are you a Muslim or you a Christian? I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Get out of here! Yes. You a yeah? That's right. Shalom, brother. Wow, Shalom. I didn't know that. So, brother, you know, you say you acknowledge yourself as a Hebrew Israelite, so that's following the laws of the Bible, right? Yes. Okay, so one of the laws of the Bible, I mean, that's the Ten Commandments, actually. Mm -hmm. And God said to rest and, and keep it holy as far as the seventh day. What day is the seventh day? Friday, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. It's the seventh day. Right, it's a day of rest. Meaning, you should you shouldn't be doing no work. But wow. You know, realistically, we know that hospitals have to be maintained. Right. Do you understand? Do we shut the hospitals down at that time and people on life support on the oxygen, and they need that and they need certain type of things to sustain their life. But I do know that Jesus Christ sustains our lives. Right. There are certain laws that we broke. Right. It's the reason why we're working as slaves today. But okay. really, we're being enslaved to the wrong person. We're supposed to be a slave to our Creator, to the Most High God. We're His servants. Right. You know. And as I said to you before, as you asked, so, I worked on a on the Sabbath. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's wrong. Mm. Sometimes you might want to buy something or get something, or you, you know, you have a desire to do certain things. And you might hear that saying, get it, get the money when you can, you know, because right. it might not be there. And you know, God is watching, He knows. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said, whatever I say in front of these cameras, I must be willing to say it off the cameras. Right. And right. be truthful about it. And that's why I say what I say. I'm not happy about it. Mm -hmm. I'm not glorifying it. I'm saying it's right or making any excuses. About it's working wrong. on seventh day. It's wrong. So but you so you say the seventh day is actually Friday night to Saturday night. Yeah. A lot of people think it is Sunday. They think the seventh day is Sunday. You can't follow what the world is doing. You see, when is most sins created? What Saturday. Day? Right, Saturday. I would say Friday and Saturday. Friday. Okay. Because Friday is the day, the last day of the week. People are like, oh, I got off from work. I'm ready to do my thing. I'm ready to do. Nobody can tell me what this is my time. Because okay. Friday extends into Saturday. I mean, right. it makes their weekend start right. longer. Right. You start Saturday, you got to sob up a little bit because Sunday's church day for some people. Or, right. You know, they got to go to work. Right. But if you follow the simple basic laws, uh -huh. you will start to understand what this is all about. See, I know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You will start working like a cat chasing his tail when you don't obey the laws. Because there's certain things that you're going to want. God could, like I said, cut that craving desire of wanting something that he could give you if you just follow his laws. Right. You may not follow get it when laws. you want it. Right. But he's going to give it to you when it's right, when it's the right time, and you will learn and you will appreciate it. So on your perfect, on your perfect seventh day, how would you bring it in? How would you keep it holy? You're supposed to keep it holy, right? So what would you do, like a perfect Saturday? I would, well, like on Friday nights, I used to do a show. Uh -huh. I wouldn't work. I would do a show called What's On Your Mind. Okay. And that was my way of, of giving back and doing the Lord's work because... I would be, we'll have discussions like this mm. on how people should live and, and how we should turn to the Bible for all our answers 
And if we don't know certain things and we have different beliefs about this, this it's not for us. God didn't design the Bible for us to be confused with each other and to be going at it with each other. Right. You know, it's, it's basic stuff that if we learn to do just simple stuff, mm. we will graduate and understand he would increase that light even more and it would just become natural to us. How come it's so natural just to do evil? Mm. And be glorified And in this world today If you do evil You're getting a reward Right For doing evil It's just, it's like backwards yeah. It's like the parents today Want to have the swag Like their children They want to hang out With their children They want to get high With their children And think it's cool It's nothing wrong With being the parent And, and, and being friends With your child But you got to know To separate that line Because you want The child to have Respect for you Let me ask you I've read in the Bible where God told his people, he told them to not kindle a fire, not spark, start a fire on seventh day. Do you know about that? Is that true? Again, I'm not a Bible scholar, so when I speak, I'm only identifying what I know or what I read or what I'm still learning okay. because I'm a student. And I have read the Bible from the beginning to the end. Okay. And I still have answers. But it's not just reading the Bible, but it's about applying what God is telling you and listening and sometimes not saying nothing. Mm. Let the Lord talk to you because he will talk to your spirit. Some people are scared of truth. They right. don't want to know truth because they think it's either they got to change their lifestyle that they're comfortable with. Hmm. If they want to gamble, if they want to have multiple women, they want to have multiple men, they want to have same-sex marriage. If they want to do that and they're comfortable, they're going to find something in the Bible to, to say, look what you're doing. To justify that what they're doing that they know is wrong. To say, well, you're not perfect. So if you're not perfect and I'm not perfect, continue to live life and do whatever you want to do. Hmm. That's not the answer. Hmm. We'll be accountable for that. That's what you call iniquity. Hidden iniquity. Mm. And there's a lot of people dealing with that. Mm. Knowing truth, but submerging it in lying and using deception to get their own agenda. Mm. To pass their agenda on other people. Be the peace, strong, cause job is the strength.